welcome and welcome back to my channel and in today's episode i am going to paint a nice tasty dessert so for that as you know i start with a basic sketch and here you can see my reference image in the photoshop and with a new layer in place i am just going to quickly sketch up some base of the entire artwork I'm using a very very small size hard round brush and as I'm doing it with my 1 by Wacom so it's a pressure size because according to the pen pressure so simply just tracing out different lines dividing it into different sections and adding the cherry on top and as I'm doing with the base, just making a nice plate style according to myself. And it is pretty ready with the base sketch of my entire process to work out on that. Once done, I'm just dragging and placing this on the other side so that we can clearly have a look and fill up one by one the, with the base colors. For that, I am just using to select that particular area, select the color with the color picker tool and in a new layer, I am just painting it up. And also, I am modifying the selection that I have done by using going to select menu, modify and expand. So one by one, you can see I am filling up the layers. All I am doing is in one single layer only because they are pretty different colors. So, entire delicious dessert is painted in one layer. And hit Ctrl D for deselection. And for the base of that plate, I am using the sketch layer again to take the selection and painting it in a different layer so that it could work easily without harming my entire painting so this is how it's looking after we are done with the all of the base color fill up now it's time to add different textures for that i'm using different kind of brushes that's all our default brushes you can easily find that in the photoshop without any installing or without any downloading any customized brush and here you can see how nice texture it is creating a grainy structure type of thing so this is quite nice you can anytime change the color of the brush and the size and just work on that Going ahead to the second part that is the dark brown layer and they are selecting the lighter shade from the reference image only and changing the brush to a different this bloated style of something so that it's create a nice edges. You can see how nice you can either say it's a kind of watercolor texture that it's giving. It's a nice organic shape creation. Because it's a natural thing because the layers don't need to be very vectorly joined. I think this is quite adding up my entire texture and similarly in the base next layer I'm adding a darker shadow or darker tone of that base color and mixing it up well so we are pretty much done with all of these cake layers and 
Now it's time to add the tiny textures. For that, I'm again switching it back to the hard round brush and creating textures or smaller structures like these. You can see how these are popping up with what we have done already to our subject. And similarly in the above layer also, with a brighter tone of yellow, I'm just creating some nuts and crooks over there. I think it's quite nice. And with a darker tone, a smaller crunchy texture here and there. I'm just tapping with my pen so that it created dotted type kind of textures and keeping it kind of organic. Somewhere bigger, somewhere small. I'm pretty happy with the look. So it's next over here with the lighter color. I'm just making few lines. Very very thinner size of brush and just here and there a few lines so that it's give a nice real effect. So it's time to make the chocolate kind of beneath the top layer. I'm again using the same hard round brush painting over the area. and adding some different color style so that it gives a nice natural look of the light and shadow for the top layer. All I'm doing is with a brush only, just making the area and coloring it up inside. For making some hard shadows over the edges, I'm just going to control, hit control and select that particular desert area all over there and make some shadow. It's pretty nice. And here working for the highlight. And making a shadow for that cherry so that it looks more chocolatey over there and making some shadows and highlights on the cherry. For the glossier thing I'm using the soft brown brush. You can also change the opacity of the brush and like this. This is giving more smooth effect and some of the star highlight with the thinner brushes, very very light pressure brushes you can use and with the red color only I am just making its edge and we are pretty done with the dessert. Now it's time to enhance the plate over there and simply just making few strokes from the inside. I'm choosing that particular layer and painting it over there. And for that, the front side, I'm just selecting that particular layer by control and clicking on that layer thumbnail and making some details. 
I think it's pretty done. Hit Ctrl D if you are done with it. And have a look. And for the top of the area, I'm just going to select that particular layer as I did earlier and hit Ctrl H. With the white color in the foreground, I'm just simply making the top edges. Isn't it looking great? I hope you guys liked this tutorial and found it helpful. If yes, don't forget to hit the like button and share this tutorial with your friends who might be needing these. Also, hit the subscribe button and the bell icon to never miss any video.